Minneapolis is one of the top 25 tech cities in the nation. India has seen a 23% increase in the number of people working in STEM occupations. We've got Andy Ober, who's the assistant managing editor of Inside Indiana Business in Studio today. Good to have you here, Andy. Good to be here. So let's talk about this Indy Tech Census. What is this? This was a brainchild of Matt Hunkler, who's a, a very well-known tech presence in Indianapolis and the CEO of Powder Keg, which is uh, a networking platform for tech companies. He worked with hundreds of tech leaders and tech businesses and organizations throughout central Indiana to come up with this. And it's meant to answer broad questions. What are the shared values of the tech community here? The strengths and weaknesses. What's it like raising money for the tech community here? And uh, they came up with some very interesting findings, which we'll uh, go over on the show. And he also said the impact of this data will be felt well beyond central Indiana. We really just want to empower the entire state of Indiana with this information. Because with information, you can make better decisions. You can figure out how to ride this tech wave, mm -hmm. benefit from it, even if you're not in the tech industry yep. now. I mean, some of the other findings we saw was that uh, the majority of tech employees make an average salary of more than $75,000. Mm -hmm. uh, and the majority of respondents said they uh, report 9 to 10 on a 10-point scale yeah. Yeah. of job satisfaction. It's right. just a great industry to be in. And Powder Keg itself has some good news to celebrate. They are growing in central Indiana, adding about three dozen jobs. So that's one of the stories you're covering. This other story is this major move by a company in Fort Wayne. You know, this is Muncie-based uh, First Merchants Corporation, the parent of First Merchants Bank. They are going to have a big presence in Skyline Tower in Fort Wayne, which is a $40 million development. And they're very excited about it. They say this is going to put us in the nerve center of the second largest city in the state. Uh, other good news they are reporting, they just came out with record fourth quarter net income, uh, record earnings, so uh, they are on a roll and their CEO will be with us on Inside Indiana Business to talk about the growth and why they're optimistic about 2018 as well. Okay, very good. Andy Ober with us today as uh, Gary Dick is on the uh, speaking tour today, right? Up in oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, Gary making the rounds, so he sent me here, the B team. <laughs> Very good. It's good to have you here. And, of course, you can watch Inside Indiana Business Sunday morning at 11 o'clock right here on Channel 13.